Hello. You know what, you guys? Um, I just thought of going live. I just came into my head because I want to make some ATCs. I made a little video just a while ago where I was showing um, these new paints. They're Chocola paints that were sent to me by the Chocola company. And I so I painted some things with those and because, you know, they send them to you for free, but you got to um, do go ahead and um, make make a video to show what you did with them. Hi, Darla. Hi, Darla. Thank you for coming. I just, all of a sudden, here it is, like almost 9.30 p.m. here on my time, and I just felt like I wanted to make some ATCs, and so I thought, well, shall I make a video, or should I just go live? And I thought, well, I'll just go live, you know, because over like in California, it might only be 6.30. 7.30, 30. Yeah, so on the West Coast, maybe only about 6.30. But, you know, I've been doing a lot, a lot of fabric. And lately I want to do, so I just decided I want to do a little bit of painting, a little bit of paper crafts, because I haven't done a lot of that. So that's what I thought. I thought I'd just see. Hi, paint girl. Your name is Laura, I think. Laura? No, it's not Laura. Lori. It's Lori. Yes. So, but this, like, when I just did a video to show these paints, I painted on some paper and made these like little things. Then I thought, well, I wanna, I want, I want to. Um... Oh, so <laughs> you took a. That's me too. I took a like a nap all day long today. Near about it, I've been in one of those kind of crazy phases when I just. I don't know. I'm just awake at night and I'm sleeping during the day and I just feel like I'm like in a black hole or something. I don't know if you all ever get days like that, but I get days like that. I'm telling you. But, you know, I was just recently um, gifted greeting cards. And when the lady gifted them to me, she asked me if I could use greeting cards. I said, sure, I can use some greeting cards. She goes, well, I have a bunch of them. Well, when she said a bunch, I figured, you know, well, maybe there's a bunch of them, maybe like a shoebox full or something. And so, yeah, I said, sure, I'll take them. And, and she brings me these boxes and boxes and boxes. Hi, Dana. Dana. Oh, good grief. Dana Iso. Hi, how are you? And there must be 7,000 cards. <coughs> Excuse me. And so what I'm doing with some of them is I'm cutting them apart. This here, all of these beginning background of ATCs is three cards that I cut. And I'm just starting, just gluing pieces together. And they're really just backgrounds for ATCs, just starting backgrounds. So what I've been doing is just cutting them into an ATC size. These these were also, I cut this out of cards too and just painted on them. So these are just pieces of the greeting cards too and I painted, not this one, that one's painted. But, um, cause the greeting card, Paper is such a nice weight, and there is so many. A lot of these and all these cards she gave me are Mother's Day cards, but you can see on them how the the images. See, and there's doubles and triples and twenty fives of a lot of them are the same. And um, but look at this: how much card is paper? Is just image just image that can be used on something. Hi, Ethel Lewis. So good to see you. And so, well, some of you know that I'm, for a while, I'm going to be doing, hi, Kathy from Kathy's World. For a while, I'm going to be doing um, um, some um, 
destashing the sales, and I'm going to do them on the 1st and the 15th, which tomorrow's the 15th, so I'll be live tomorrow too. But I'm going to have a lot of these cards in. And there's Barbara Batzer. Hi, Barbara. I just seen you. I was over there on Beth's. Beth was doing some ATCs on hers too. But these cards are going, some of these types of cards are going to be in my, um, in my sale even tomorrow. And I'm do, doing another, some of the things are going to be a build a bundle like I did on the first. And then there's going to be a few things that are going to be maybe an auction. But these, like, look at these. They're beautiful. But when, any, anyway, what, I lo what I'm doing, what I started doing is I, I'll, I'll take, look at there. I just had my paper cutter out and I've already got it covered up. Jeez, my crease. Tracy Hunt, hello, you beautiful soul. Kathy's Garden, hi, you beautiful soul. I hope you're feeling better and your daughter is doing great. My daughter is doing lovely. She's doing, she's still in a lot of pain, but I guess, it, you know, it's when they get in there and dig around inside you that deep, it takes a little while for the pain to go away. So she had to go get a, I've never heard of such. She had to go get an x-ray. She went a couple of days ago for x-ray because when she went back to the doctor and the doctor says, well, something about um, pulling out packing or something. And Jen said, no, they didn't put any packing in. Doctor said, well, they were supposed to put packing in and I'm supposed to. He goes, they were... he goes okay, you need to go get an x-ray to make sure they didn't put that packing in there and then just show it in. And so. She had to go get, uh, she says, I'm sure that there's been no packing just left in there. And so hopefully there's no packing left in there. But um, I guess, you know, the doctor does the surgery. And then the team, the OR nurses team or whatever, they're the ones that do all the suturing up and stuff and and by then, the doctor's already going on to the next patient or whatever, you know. And so, hopefully, she wouldn't have the, um, the x-ray done. And the x-ray technician, he couldn't see anything in there. So, hopefully, there's nothing in there. That, you know, then the, I guess the radiologist or some somebody with a little more knowledge looks at it. But hopefully, there's nothing in there that they have to go and dig back out. But it is crazy, yes. So here what I'm doing is I'm cutting cutting these cards to two and a half by three and a half inches. And I'm going to have, now like this one. See, now that's two, that's the ATC size. Yeah, no, we wouldn't, oh, that one was folded over, so I got to, ATC size card. Cute. But that's two ATCs. Yeah, I wouldn't want them leaving anything in there. That would not be good. And so, and maybe they just didn't put the packing in. I don't know what the packing was supposed to be. I don't know. Fill up the area that they just cut out. I don't know. I missed that day in my doctor's school. So anyway, see, that's just the start of an ATC, and it's already got some pretty on it, and this has got a little mouse on it, and that's a start. And so here, now, I'll cut that. It's already cut to two and a half, so I'll cut it to three and a half. They are supposed to do a count of all supplies before closing the site. Well, this is wasn't be a supply. They were they were supposed to do put packing in it, and I'm not sure what the packing was all about either so so but he's that's what the doctor said they were supposed to pack it and he said but then they should when they're packing it then they're supposed to leave like an opening so they can pull the packing out or something i don't know so yeah they are supposed to do a count of everything i hope they didn't like mess anything up but see now here there's a whole backing 
background for ATC, and it's um, got just a little bit of the writing still here, so that maybe we can cut, cover over with something. And then here's just a solid white one, but you can get so many ATCs. Oh, see, this card was a doubled over size card, doubled, doubled, tripled. So see, and then you just cut it, then you, and then you see what you get. You cut it. This is just a hair longer than my cutter. Let's see, three and a half. I like that little mouse there. That little mouse. A little mouse right there. So that one was glued there. So there, now I'll cut that at two and a half. So they're all three and a half by two and a half. Hi, Cynthia McCoy. Hello, how are you? Tonight I'm just playing with ATCs and I just wanted to see, I just wanted to see you guys. I've been in a, a, in a little quiet mode lately. But um, see, that'll make a cute ATC with that little mouse here. That'll make one this direction. And these are fun. These are just fun to do. And um, an ATC is something small and fun and inexpensive to mail when you just want to mail a happy mail to somebody or just a little card. Thinking of you card and put a, um, and put a, hi Tracy Hunt, put an ATC inside of it. And that is... There's got a bird on that one right there, so I want to save that bird's life. And so there, look at there, I can use some of these, can be double-sided. Look at this one here, it's got flowers on this side. And then here, just a little bit of something. Um, I can cover that up with something. And then this piece is smaller than ATC, so then this piece is another something that I can use on different cards. So then, what's here? Oh, I still have some more on this one. And so this is just one card and cutting it into many pieces. Let me see. Which way do I want to do it? Yeah, I want to do it this way. I'll do it this way, the three and a half. And then the two and a half. Yes, if you have a ton of cards, you have a ton of paper. I mean, gosh, recycling this stuff, I mean, just reuse and recycle. And then you have a lot of. Oh, wait, which way did I go here? That's three and a half. So then this is, I go two and a half. And so, and, and what I found now, if I do, like, okay, this is all the, the ATC task sizes, all the, this, I got all these out of one card, out of one greeting card, all of these. Some of them are just one side. Some of them are double-sided. So this is really cool. And then I'll take another card. Oh, this one. Look at that one. It's all that prettiness on that card. And look at all the daisies that's on there. So I'm going to take this card. And I'm going to do the same thing on this one. I'm going to cut it. Oh, well, I'm just going to cut it in half right here first. I just felt the need to do some paper crafting. Hi, Lori Nettler. N Net I'll never can say your name. I get the middle letters all mixed up together. But Nelt Neltner. Lori Neltner. Okay, this is. Oh yeah, I can get. I can go three and a half this way. Let's see. I'm go first three and a half. Cut this at three and a half. Okay. 
and then I'll go to two and a half. I got it. Yeah, I got it. Well, you used to be like Smith or something easy, and then you got married. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you, Shabby Chick Do. Lizzie, packing leaves an opening for drainage. Oh, yes, they did not leave. And that was one of the things that Jennifer, when she got out of surgery, she asked the nurse, asked if, if there was a drain. And um, she said, no, there's not a drain. So that must have been what she was meaning by a drain. So if there's not a drainage and there should be a drainage, I don't know. She is still experiencing quite a bit of pain. So I guess she'll find out once the doctor reads that, sees the x-ray, he'll find out if, if there's any. Ah, see, now I've learned, I've learned things. I mean, because, I mean, she's, a, my daughter's a nurse, so she knows things, but I don't know. I'm just a mom. And so that's what that meant then. Because that because because my daughter wondered why there wasn't a drain. She figured there should have been a drain. But then she thought, well, maybe they just didn't feel like they needed a drain. Cause she said, Yeah, I know what drainage is drain is because she's pulled a lot of them. She's had to pull them back out, you know. Let's see, is this, is this two and a half? Well, that's not quite two and a half. So this will be a this will be a short one. This will be a short ATC. Or I mean a narrow one. But or pieces to go on another ATC. Yes, great memory. Smith now Nelton. I have not been on a while mom passed away suddenly in april on my anniversary oh my gosh on your anniversary yes i did hear that your mom passed away that was april in april oh that's hard i lost my brother in in march he passed away and it's still unbelievable it's just to lose to lose a loved one is just very sad very sad. So I'm just going to cut this one now. Three, cut three cards, and then I'm going to kind of re, redo them. I should have cut this one the other way, but this is okay this way too. Because sometimes I make a ATC, I'll make it landscape, and sometimes I'll make it um, the portrait. So and you can make them either way. Oh wait a minute! This I got. I want that bird on here. I want, I want that bird to stay there. So I want to cut his. I do not want to cut his head off. So that is what I'm doing. Now I'm going to cut this so I have some color to play with. My little dog is, you know, I cut apart, um, my husband was, he got really, really small for a while when he was really sick, and then he got well. Well, he got, he got really, lost a lot of weight when he was having problems with his gallbladder, and then he got had his gallbladder taken out, and um, had his gallbladder taken out, and he got, he got all well, and so he was wearing a medium t-shirt. And now he's wearing a large. So we got him all large t-shirts because he likes pocketed t-shirts. And um, and so I got all his... Would you look at that fish? Let me see. Booger? Oh. And so he gave me all his old ones. So I've got them cut apart. And I cut... Because I'm making t-shirt yarn out of them. <laughs> Hi, happy ray of crafty sunshine. 
I'm just here. I decided to go on live just because I just felt like it. Hi, sweet child. And so um, I figured you was already in the bed. Otherwise, I would have called you to come on with me. And I'm just doing some paper crafting. And so, but anyway, so I had all these t-shirts and so I took them apart and I'm rolling them into t-shirt yarn because I, then I can make rugs. But looky here what I have, looky here. These are all the pockets from his t-shirts. These are all the pockets. And you know what an egg apron is? An egg apron. I want to make an egg apron out of all these pockets. And so it's an apron you wear when you go collecting eggs. And you got a pocket for each egg. But look at it. This is how many t-shirts. I mean, a lot of t-shirts. But see, I got all the pockets. But I threw all the sleeves that are down there in a pile in the floor. And I hate to throw them away because my little doggy gets in there and he fluffs them all up and he goes to sleep in his nice cozy bunch of sleeves. But look, is that a lot of pockets? I mean, he had a lot of t-shirts, but now he's got only a dozen t-shirts of size large. Of these are with a, he's got more than that of t-shirts because he's got a lot that aren't just the plain t-shirts, but that's all pockets. <laughs> I'm going to make an apron out of that. Each, each one of these are going to be hand stitched, but I'm going to um, hand stitch them on an apron. It's going to be an egg collecting. Then you just put the eggs in each separate pocket. So I think that's pretty cool. So there's that. Oh, Kathy's putting a signature together. Yeah, I think it'll be neat. When I see all them pockets, I have to do something with these pockets. And I've seen where people make those egg aprons and they're just made for collecting eggs. And I think that is just so cool. So I've got now a few cut apart and all I did was just didn't even really take a whole lot in consideration of, of um, how I was cutting them. Ooh, one seems a little wide, but look at that. Now that, that was off of one card, these two that are ready for decorating and, um, and so, but since I cut three different cards, they all kind of blend together nicely. And I can, um, let's see, some of them are like, like goofy. Some of them are like goofy. And there's Sarah. Hi, Sarah. And so, but yeah, I just wanted to do some paper crafting. It's just, it's been a while I've been doing only fabric, but, but see, I got some fabric here because I got this here from, from Sarah, <laughs> from Sarah I got, and, um, because I, and I'm using this, these for my rug hooking, but I have my rug that I'm hooking, I have it on the, I'm doing locker hooking and I'm using this, but I, um, I have that on my dining room table. I found it's much easier to do that on my dining room table than trying to hold it in my lap. I was holding it in my lap and it just, because it's 40 inches one way and 24 inches the other way. So it's pretty good size and it's hard to do it in your lap. And so, and then doing the hook, it kind of wears on your hands a little bit. So I, um, so I, hi Janice Glines. You know what, Janice? I was going through some stuff today and to because I decided I want to do some some um, paper crafting and I found an envelope that you sent me two years ago. And I I remember using some of the things out of that envelope, but it was almost like it was almost like having a happy meal all over again because I went through it and through it and through it. And it was, hang on just a minute. I'm going to go get this envelope. I want to see the date on it. Just hang on, chat amongst yourselves real quick. Okay? And, um, and I want to see 
So it's going through a box. Ray, do you want to come on? I'll send you the link. I'll, just a minute. Wait, hey. I'll send you the link in case you want to. If In case you want to come on. I'm going to send you the link. Right here. Copy. Facebook. Ray. Mes oh my gosh, Ray. I see this. Um, okay, I'm just gonna, you don't have to come on, but if you want to, just a minute, control V, enter, there, oh my gosh, those are adorable, oh, well, there you go, I had to go look at Happy Ray's little pies she's making, gosh, how cute. So if you want to come on, just come. But Gladys, Gladys, not Gladys, Janice, I was going through some stuff that I just were in a box. And I said, oh, look at this envelope, which I've been through it, you know, before. And I know that I've used things from it. But I started going through this envelope. And it was like, it was almost like it's the first time. I remember these things and I remember using some of them. But oh my word. It, but see, now I can use, let me see what I have black paper. Hmm. And look at this. You sent me this paper that you colored. Beautiful black paper. Black paper. Oh, and this was a paper that you did, um, mixed media, beautiful. And you sent me some rickrack. And darn it, I just, it's been in this bag. But then there was a couple things. There's another mixed media, beautiful, birds on it. Look at that envelope. And going through this, I said, gosh, I got to get back into paper. I mean, I'm, oh, look at these butterflies. Okay, I'll keep them out. How to tell if a fairy is, you know, how to tell if a fairy is nearby. Soft chiming bells, a strong scent of grass, apples, or wild violets, strange, haunting, or joyful music. Wow. Mysterious giggling that comes out of thin air. Mushroom circles, large patches of four-leaf clovers, or you are followed by a crow or a raven. That and look at these men. Look at this guy. Just look at this guy. Ooh, there was more men in here too. I've seen the men. See here, she sent me men, and here. Oh my God! I was so glad to see this again. And um. You know, I didn't use that Rick Rack, but now I will use it, Rick Rack, because I am really into Rick Rack now. But this here, this here picture of Johnny Cash is about the age that he was when I saw him. And um, I've only been on a half an hour, Janet. Oh, there's Happy Ray. Let's let that girl in. Okay. Add to stream. Whoops, not remove me okay Ray. you don't have to put me on the screen i'm just gonna be a voice you just want to be a voice yeah okay how do i do that then just go like this yeah can you hear you me oh now i can hear you i can hear you now yeah just close me off you can still hear me okay i can still hear you this I saw Johnny Cash one time. I sat right next to him and chatted with him, not knowing who the heck he was. Wow. He, he looked about like this. When I was, so I got to save this picture like forever. When I was 
about 16 years old. I was still in high school. And my friend and I were walking to the library. Because you always had to walk to the library to use their encyclopedias to do your homework. And so I was walking to the library. And um, my friend said, oh, there's my uncle. Let's go talk to him. Well, there was a, it was like a little, like a, a almost like a bread and breast breakfast place. It was called the Chasco Inn. And, um, and there was rocking chairs all in front. And there he was sitting in one of the rocking chairs. Well, at that time of my life, I didn't know him from Adam's house cat. Because I was into the Beatles and Herman's Hermits and all of those people. Love and Spoonful, all of my favorites. I never even had heard of Johnny Cash. And she introduced him as her Uncle Johnny. So that was Uncle Johnny, which he has a house still. Well, he doesn't have a house now. But at his family home, there's a road that goes right along the Pithlachuskuti River. And he's got a house there, or it is was his house. And, and he kind of was there at his young age. And then that Chasco Inn belonged to the family. And so there we were just chatting. And I'm telling her, well, we got to get to the library. we got to get our homework done. And it wasn't until years later that I heard of Johnny Cash and realized it was that man I was sitting right next to when I was 16 years old. If I knew then what I know now, I'd have been married. Well, maybe not that. <laughs> and, that, and that's old Johnny Cash, see? Hermits, Hermits, yes. I got to save that. That's going to go someplace. Oh, then when I saw this again, I said, I want to try and paint this little panda. Um, I want to try and paint this. I'm going to use this as just a, to look at. Because I see how, um, what is her name? I just said her name. Beth. Beth Schuler. She'll take an image like this and she'll just put that there and then start painting and it'll come out just so well. I don't think I can do as good as her, but I sure as heck can try. But I like that. I want to try that. And look at these men. Gianna sent me these men too. Look at them. Whew. Them blue jeans that fit like skin on baloney. He didn't, he didn't play your song. No, he didn't even have his guitar. I didn't even know he sang or nothing. Really? No, I. there was nothing. I knew nothing that he was anything famous. And maybe he wasn't real famous then because I was only about uh, yeah. 16. So that was, I don't know when he got famous. But um, I was only about 16. So he probably was only about 17. I don't know. He, I don't know his age. And, um, and look here. Here's an ATC. It says, don't forget to be owlsome. And that was made by Janice. Did she put that? She made that in June 12th. What is today? She made this on, today's the 14th. Um, 2019. This is how long I've had this happy mail in here. And I just let it sit there collecting dust. Yeah, I think all these are singers. But boy, are they gorgeous, aren't they? They just play something country. Oh, Kane Brown, Brooks and Dunn, John Parody. So I don't know all of them, but I wish I did. But anyhow, and there's that. Oh, geez. See, and this is how terrible I am. There for a while, I was getting so much happy mail. Every day I was getting happy mail. It just like every day I'd get a mailbox and I was three or four happy mails. I just, I was in a... I was just getting so much. And I think that's why sometimes some of it just got put off to the side. And I did not appreciate it. Like I, when I found this this morning and opened it up, I was so, it was like it was brand new. And so, and look at that card with the hummingbird. How pretty is that? I got to put that there. And here's frogs. That has to go in my frog book. I got to put that right there. Rocky Gorman, premier jewelry designer of Santa Fe. She sure has got a pretty face. And look at all that jewelry. Oh, and then my harp train. I love trains. Peaceful places and cowboy boots. This is nice paper. 
Yeti built for the wild. Ooh, trains. We need to do a train journal together. I know it. Wouldn't that be fun? I want to do a train. I love, love, love old trains. I really do love. And I think that's when I would have fun. I do have a few things that I had gathered up for trains. And look at these boots. I got bunches. I'll send you some. Whenever I was, um, there was a, a spell in my life. Um, yeah, I did. I got busy, Jens. There was a spell in my life that I did. I was doing line dancing. That's when I was, um, I don't know. I had a short spell in my life that I was like a party animal. It kind of went between husbands. Good thing I met Papa because he saved my life. But I was doing line dancing. We'd go to this one place. It was huge, this place. And um, they always had a live band there. And that's when um, everybody was doing line. I would have wore these boots. I would have wore them boots right them, on my feet. Them boots look comfortable. Like they've been wore a couple of times. They do. Look, they got denim on them. And I, the I love they're called Old Gringo. Old Gringo, yeah. Every bear pair handmade. I bet those are not cheap. It's oldgringoboots.com. We'll have to look that up and see how much, just to see how much they are. Those are beautiful boats. Probably a lot. I'd like them just to sit on the counter and look at them. But there was one time <laughs> we was at that place and we was line dancing. I, that's when I was hanging around with my sister. She was leading me astray. And, um, oh, Eugenia's dad worked for the railroad for 44 years. She loves trains. Yes. But, um, but the, the, um, the singer of this band, this one night, he had a carry around with him microphone and he kept come sit on the, um, in the booth with where my sister and I was. And he looked me right in the eyes and was singing, singing, singing. I'm telling you. I thought I did not went to heaven. <laughs> that was in my wild days. So that, I was about, at that, I was 48 when my husband passed away. So I was probably about 49 or 50. Yeah. Learning to line dance. Now here's some pretty cards. I'm not going to cut these ones apart. Special birthday wishes. These are pretty. Look at the cards. And the envelopes to match. Okay, these ones I'm going to save to use. I got a, one little package of cards that were sent to me by somebody else once, too, that are usable. I'm going to use them and not cut them apart. And then here in this envelope is, these are going to be some things I can put on a, on, oh, these are post-it notes. See, it's uh, two years ago. Oh, old boots make great planters. Yes. Oh, my gosh. The hand, the mermaid, and a watermelon. So what made you come on tonight? Uh, just, I was sitting right here. I made a little video on because I got some paints from the Chocola company and they gave them to me for free is just all I had to do is to make a video to show an unboxing and um, make a little review of them. So then while I was doing that, I made, I was working on, I was working on some, some ATC cards. And so then then later on, I decided, then I was just sitting here and I thought, well, I want to make some more ATCs. And so then I said, oh, what? And so first I thought I would make another video. Then I thought, well, no, I'll just go ahead and turn it on live, even though it's like 930 at my house. It's in California, it's only 630. So, so look at this bunny, meet Dusty, the Habitat plush bunny. That's a pretty bunny. I wonder if I could put that on the coffee machine and shrink it. You should be able to. That's pretty. In. That's pretty. It's very pretty. Yeah. Yeah, so I didn't even have any. Um, Janet still has her boots. 
to um are you still having your sale tomorrow? Yeah. You, do I need to make a post? Because you ain't putting nothing up. I didn't well if you want to put up a post, you can. And um look at these here stickers. I need them over here for my and here's some more stickers. See this this happy mail just keeps on giving. Thank you, Janice. I'm hundreds of dollars, Janice. And look at this. This is in there. See here? This can make a... It's a junk, junk, junk journal extravaganza. I know. And I've had it in this house for two, over two years. More pretty cards. These are nice cards. Look at this card. I can send. Oh, it's so pretty. Happy birthday to someone special. And look at the envelope. It's got the same puppy right on the envelope. Okay, I got to put these up here. Right there in my special do not lose things. Oh, and look at that angel. Did you see what the picture I sent you? On the, on the messenger? Yeah. Of the pies? Uh, the bee pies. I seen the pies. How many pies have you made now? I've made four so far. The, the last two have their bee thing. They're beautiful. They're so easy to make, Lizzie, and I'm in love, and I want to make them all the time now. Oh, now look at this one. This one here. Oh, Janice, I can't believe I've left this in that envelope. But see, I have it again. Janice painted these pictures. She painted on April 1st, 2020. Look at the bunnies. They look like peeps. They do look like peeps. Peep bunnies. I feel uh, like guilty because because I just, it just, I put it in a box of stuff and darn it, it's just, and look at this rear. And she did this on the same day. Oh, you got a bear for your book. Yes. I got bears for my books and frogs for my books. These are beautiful. I bought you some bear bear card things for your book last at Rosita's the other night. Did you? Yeah. Aw. And then these cards. I gotta send them to you. They're cute. These are beautiful. The Le, the Saint Lebre Indian School. Look at the envelopes. The chickadees? That? Yeah, little chickadees and the envelope matches. Oh, I love it when they got fancy envelopes. You're in my thoughts today. Today I thought and see, this doesn't have to be a birthday or anything. See, this is what you can do, is if you have a beautiful card like this especially, and then you just put a ATC inside of it, an artist trading card, and send it off to somebody to make them smile. I'm going to do that. Who knows? I might just send it to Janice. And now here, this must be pretty fancy because it's in a plastic thing and I never even took it out. You are one of you are one of my nicest thoughts. And look at that beautiful, beautiful bird. And I wonder. See, I never even opened this up. This is really like I'm I'm at um confession right now. Ooh, confession. That's a fancy one. Yeah, it's in this plastic and See there how the envelope is so pretty and this is that the same this is saint joseph's indian school some of the best cards come from yet i will rejoice in the lord and i will take joy in the god of my salvation god the lord is my strength habakkuk 3 18 19. you are one of my oh i love these cards that aren't necessarily for a birthday or a whatever, birthday, death. Day, That'd be whatever. beautiful in a journal. Yeah. And here's a birthday card with butterflies. Gosh, and look at the envelope. Front and back of the envelope. Lizzie, you're going to be dubbed the queen of cards. Well, see, some of these ones, though, are, oh, my. Get well soon. Anybody sick? I can send you this. 
Oh my gosh, and cupcakes. I got you some other cards from Pearl too. They got a, they're like um, little note cards, and they got bears on them too. I gotta send you those too. Oh, and then this, this was August fourteenth of two thousand nineteen, and look at how it is a, a door, and then the brick wall. I want to paint that. I can she painted that. that? This is painted by Janice Glein. Wow. Oh, I thought it was a napkin. No, it's painted. She's got it signed right here in the date. That's, That's why you always have to sign your stuff. So that if somebody just tucks it away and doesn't see it for two years, they'll know who done it. Gosh, these are gorgeous. Look at the card. That is nice. I swear I thought it was like a like a napkin. Yeah, it did look like a napkin. Okay, so these are, oh, these are those kind of test sheets, tea sheets. You can um, print your own, your own um, stamps, but I use them for funsies. Now look at all this stuff. I can use all this stuff. Okay, this stuff I'm going to keep right out because I can use this. These little things are going to go on ATCs. So thank you again from two years ago. Oh, what's the date on this? Anyway? Two years ago, she spent $12.55 to mail this to me. Um, July 8th, 2020. And it's a gift that keeps on giving. Thank you, Janice. I When I found that today, it was like, what is this? It's still in this envelope. And there it was. There it was. It was beautiful. But I have boxes under a table. And um, yes, Eugenia, if you do, if you make a donation once, and I made a donation to St. Jude's, so I get mail from St. Jude's. They've already spent what I donated them many times over and just posted to send me some more. So anyway... Okay, now I have to look at what's this. So, what's your plan for tomorrow? What's my plan for tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Well, first I'll wake up. That's my first plan. And then I'll probably drink tea. Because <laughs> I'm trying to not drink coffee anymore. <gasps> what? I know, because I can't drink coffee without cream. I've got to have cream in it. And I use that powdered creamer, and it makes my sugar go. Even though it says sugar-free, it ain't sugar-free. No. It makes my sugar numbers go way up high in the sky. And now look at these here, little, um, them things. This is, this is not a um, unicorn. This is a Pegasus. Those are scraps. It's creepy scraps. That's the fun. Fun scraps from other people. Yes, but it, it's Pegasus. I love them. And then here is hey, Tracy, girly. Angels. Hey, Tracy Hunt. I'm just the voice in the air, air, air. Just the voice. <laughs> If you're hearing voices, it is our little happy ray of sunshine. And look at all of them little penguins. And some more butterflies. Oh, this is a um, one touch of nature makes the whole world kin. You know who wrote that? Mm -mm. Give up. William mm -hmm. Shakespeare. There's a bookmark. It is. It is a bookmark. And let me see if this says something. The human spirit needs places where nature has not been rearranged by the hand of man. Oh, if that isn't true. The, home, the human spirit needs places where nature has not been rearranged by the hand of man. So many. So nature has been rearranged by the hand of man. It says author unknown, but that is so true. And this is 
a piece of cardboard. I think that one looks like it came off of a tissue box. And, oh, that's pretty. I've been cutting out some, doing some die cutting, too, on, um, with some of these cards, too. And the die cuts are turning out really good. Lizzie, my husband, has diabetes, and I put a little bit of real cream in his coffee. No carbs or sugar. Oh, okay. Kathy's dumping it. She's saying no more for Pete. I know. And, and you think there's sometimes I'll take my sugar level in the morning and it's good. And then all I have is coffee with that sugar-free creamer in it. And my, sh my sugar shoots up. And so. It's still got like sugar alcohol in it, don't it? I don't know. It's powdered stuff. It's got something poisonous in there. Oh, and look at this. I've seen this image before, and I think that comes, well, this was cut out of a magazine, but I think this image, oh, you know what? Look at them eyes. Who does them eyes? She's the little uh, precious moments. Precious moments, yes. That's what it is, precious. She's moment. cute. She's adorable. Yes. Oh, look at there. Here's a appeal man. This is a drug pusher right here. See that? He is a drug pusher. <laughs> oh, and look at this butterfly. And yep, plus he cut that. <laughs> That's a appeal man. Do I? I put cinnamon and uh, creamer in mine, and mine's not sugar-free. I know it's bad, but I cannot drink it black. I can't. I can't drink it black either. So that's why I switched to tea. I got my tea right here, and here is the Kennedy Center. I really don't put them Arcade a lot. Station. It's usually mm -hmm. just a, like a splash, and then I put cinnamon in it. Yeah, I like yeah. cinnamon in my tea. But cinnamon is very good for diabetes. Yes. These are nice. They're heavy. He real heavy. Thick. Heavy and thick. Aw. Oh, there's just the Defenders of Wildlife. And all it is, picture of a bear, and it's just open in the middle for a card. And these are... 23 yeah. calendars. Oh, and your tip chart, so you know how much to tip the waitress. Kathy drinks hers black and strong. I do like my strong, but I cannot do black. Yeah, Papa likes his black. He likes his black as an ace of spades. And strong. Oh, these are pretty little things. Oh, these are perfect. I oh. gotta have a little cream in it. Look at this. She cut that little bird out and even its little tiny little feetsies. You see that? Even its little tiny feetsies. And then I just stuck them in the corner in the closet. And I mean, I made a table. Cute. I should be totally and utterly ashamed. But I'm using them now, though, Janice. Yeah, it, it does. It, the cinnamon really makes it good. I was going to make banana bread today, but I copied me a, a recipe out of the, um, off of the, um, computer that is healthy with whole wheat flour and everything, but then I didn't make it. So I've got to make it in the morning. Otherwise, otherwise my bananas are going to get too ripe. That's pretty. Girl, oh. The bananas don't stay long enough here. Camping theme washi tape. Be a happy camper. Aw. So thank you again, Janice. This is great. I'm telling you. So y'all don't be sending me the happy meal because you see what I do with it. Throw it off into the boonie bushes. Look at she colored this too. It'll come back around in a couple of years. <laughs> but... It'll make its way back to the top. I know it. Well, see, now I, 
I'm not over flooded with Happy Meal like I was at the one time. I don't know why at that. For a while there, it was like every day, every day, which it was wonderful. Uh, it was wonderful, and I was happy as a clam, but I guess I just, you know, some of it just kind of went hiding and skidding, went to skid row, I guess, or something. So anyhow, I haven't made any. Bye, Tracy. Tracy's leaving. Tracy, thank you for coming. Have a good night, have a good snooze, and have a good all of that. So now see, like here I have these beautiful ATCs already that are just pieces of cards. Now I have a pile of stuff. Wait a minute now. So you got them. you got off my subject. So I'm talking about as far as the sale go, what is your plan? Oh, 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 oh. I always get off subject. As far as the sale goes, what are my plans? Yeah. I plan to go on at four o'clock. Okay. At Eastern time. And then I'm going to um, put, I'm going to have some of the $6 builder bundles again. Mm -hmm. And um, so that I'll just be piling stuff and it'll be a lot of stuff for um, junk journals, but I'm going to have a couple things that I'm going to, like do like this one thing here is I don't know just a minute I got this here pocket book and this is an old pocket book and let me see the brand name in it is Christiana and it's all satin lined in here and I filled it with jewels. I filled Ooh. it with jewels. What? And I thought, well, well, tomorrow I'll pull all the jewels out. But um, I thought I might auction this and see. That looks good. Yeah, see, see if anybody really wants this. And so we'll see. But that's one thing that's going to be tomorrow. But then I'm going to have a lot of these cards. Yeah, I plan to sell stuff. Yeah, Kathy, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to plan to sell stuff. But I'm going to try and unload some of these. Oh, I shouldn't say it that way, should I? Yeah. <laughs> so if I put a stack of like 25 cards together for like $3 or something, I might do something like that. And with some of these cards, because the cards really are something that you can really use to make these little ATCs, or you can, of all things, you can use them as a card. Right. Yeah. It's card stock. If all fails, you can just use them as a greeting card. Just something. recover it. Use it as card stock. You can use it for anything. But see, now these, I just cut those out, and they're all. Well, they're not all exactly ATC size, but that's what I got them started out as ATC size. Let me just put these all together in one little pretty so, stack. So are you going to go on first? Because I was going to say a little bit, but it ain't going to be like a lot. Okay, well, we'll let you go on first. And and because just in case you have to get off, and because I know you have to work then the next day. So you go on first. Well, how long do you plan on staying on? Like until the cows come home, at least. Oh, my Lord. I know. It's a long time. I really don't know. It depends. Um, no, Lizzie, you don't plan to unload. You plan to share the Card Queen's collection with her court. <laughs> there you go, Kathy. Kathy, do <laughs> <laughs> Kathy knows how to put things into good words. Poor old, poor old Ray, the last, when we did our last one, I said to her, well, how much are you going to rip to people? How much are you going to rip to people off of that? And Papa just looked at me. He goes, that wasn't very nice. <laughs> and I said, oh my gosh, I thought nice. It's just sometimes stuff, stuff, 
stuff just sometimes. Oh my gosh, Lorraine Chubb. Yes. Well, I haven't been going too much. I haven't been going on too many live streams at all, Lorraine. Lorraine, I hope you are doing well up there in Canada. I don't know why anybody wants to go to Canada instead of Florida. Okay, sweetie, we're going to find this. It is good to see you, Lorraine. But look, now here's a card. ATC, and it's already got some purple little flowers. And um, then we have like little things. You don't even need much to put on them to make them all just dolled up and beautiful. And then if you put on a... If you put on words, oh, here, look, I've got these beautiful words. Beautiful, beautiful brown eyes. Okay, see, so you can use, well, any old words. Don't get too persnickety. And so then, like here, it says, be grateful. And that is what we need to do, is to be grateful. Well, I'll, I'll probably be on like 30, 40, 45 minutes because I'm just going to sell. I got some postcards already fixed up and, and some, probably some napkins. I'm not diving deep tomorrow because I got to do it on Saturday at Aaron's too, so. Yeah. I'm not, okay, I'm so that's fine, sweetie. You know, just whatever. We're not in, you know, we're not in it to get like... You know, we don't have to. I just need to whittle some of that stock down. You just need to whittle stock. And that's what I have to do. Just kind of whittle stock. It's not like we're starving or anything over here. <laughs> I'm starving. But, I, but, right. I got kind of, uh, I got kind of, uh, um, what do you call it? Lord, I don't even know how to say it. Having sent out little stuff, it was nice to have little packages that went out. Yeah. Yeah, it's always, it is, yes. And it's always good, too, to know that other people can use something that maybe you can't use anymore. Because a lot of my stuff, if I donate it to the thrift shop, they'd probably throw it in the garbage. They wouldn't even know how valuable it was. They would not even have a clue. Ooh, my phone. You hear that? Yeah. I hear them weird noises. Oh, God. Let me leave and come back. That's weird sounding. Oh, look at this bird. will go good right here. Aw. Aw. I like my corners rounded, but I don't have my corner rounder in here. I have to. This, where is that? See, so that and that. Okay. Golly. It is so good to see. All, and there's Fiona. <laughs> and Fiona is awake at 3.30 a.m. over in her neck of the woods on the other side of the Golden Pond. And here we are, just for her, just for her. Um, Ray will be right back. She's just going to reboot her phone or something. Re redial, re something, rekindle the flame, whatever it is that you do. Hi, Candy. What are you doing up so late? Do you teach tomorrow? Or are you off teaching for the summer? Or do you teach all summer and all? Yeah, I guess a lot of teachers are off for the summer. Candy teaches art, you guys, if you don't know. Candy. Okay, there she's back. Add to stream. Okay, you there? Yeah. yeah. Is that better? She's back. Yeah, I don't hear them funny noises now. 
Yeah, I think it's because mm-hmm. my phone was dying. I had to plug it in. Oh, plug it in, plug it in. Plug it in. the dimple in your chin. Hi, Candy. Candy Apple Red. Oh, this is my last week until after July 4th. Oh, so now you get just a short break, then. You don't get a real long break. So, and now this. These are just beautiful things. And, you know, like, when you're making your, your ATCs, too, you really don't have to make the whole thing all at once. You can, you can, um, look at this one, how pretty. You can, like, do part of it. Now I might want to ink around them, but I don't have ink right now. So maybe I'll just lay some of them out and do them partially. And then, and then ink them maybe the next time. Look how pretty that butterfly that might be a little bit big for my card. You know what this will go on is my Rolodex arty thing. Do you all do a Rolodex um, art thing? I love my my Rolodex because my Rolodex is, um, gosh, I got to get that out too and work on that. On my Rolodex, I like things with wings that hang off the edges of each. I'm going to go get that right now too. Well, I'm just not just sticking to my ATCs, but I am a little bit. So now, let's see if I can get up. You need to start picking your cards again. Picking? Oh, picking yeah, my are. cards. Oh, for my stuff that I haven't touched in a coon's age? Yeah, it was supposed to be every day since the beginning of the year. I know. Do I ever do things like I say I'm going to do? <laughs> You did it for a minute, though. I'm I proud did it of for you. a while, yeah. Okay, I'm almost up. I don't know my walker in here. But it's like, it's almost halfway through the year, so you need to bring it back for a little while. Okay. Well, I just, okay, I will. All right, I'm trying to find excuses, but they're not coming to my mind. <laughs> trying to find excuses I got a Rolex too but I ain't put none in it maybe we can have um, one of those in the group soon to a Rolex um Swap because you can do that in a flat envelope. See, this is my Rolodex. If you don't do it two dimensional, we should do one of those in the group as one of the challenges. Oh, that would be a good idea, too. Yeah, let's see. Like my Rolodex cards, I do the same thing. I might do just um, some mixed media art on them. Oh, you did this one. Do you remember doing that one? Me? Raymond? Yeah. This beautiful art card was made I by made that one, yeah. Ray Perez, Happy Ray of Sunshine. Yeah. Oh, but you didn't make it on the Rolodex. I put it on the Rolodex. Oh, but yeah, I made that card. Yeah, you didn't put the date on it. Though. That was when I was going crazy and sewing fabric and paper together because, like, I just discovered that and it was the awesomest thing ever. Yeah. But see, I have, like, so many of my Rolodex cards. I have the art things. This one, I've got, like, a tea bag. You've got a bunch. I'm sending you one. And so cute. And there's... See, this is a bird, and I have him, like, over the top of it, so he's bigger than the card. So my whole Rolodex 
is like like this great big old butterfly I have on this page, plus a bunch of little butterflies. These are so much fun to do. Just to have, and that one's got moths. That one all I have is painted. I got to put something on there. Oh, I could do one of them now. I got two punches that makes those holes. But they're different sizes, you know. Different, because I've got two Rolodexes and they're both different size cards on them. Oh, look at this one. I, I, I can add to that one. This one, I got a book on it. A little book on the card. Say cheese, angels, butterflies, more butterflies. But I have just like a whole bunch and a big one. But anyhow, these are so much fun. But now, okay, where can I put that? Right there on the floor. Okay, see this? Now, where did those little, I know there was those little, I know they were here. I seen them. Oh, here they are. Is this them? Yeah. Definitely. Definitely yeah. next month, let's do that as a challenge. As what? A Rolodex art? Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, do you say so? Um, wait a minute, I gotta find that. To find them little baby and ones. And we'll both and we'll, and we'll both make one and then we'll give ours away. Okay. All right. All right. Sounds good to me. Because you really don't even have to have it in a Rolodex thingy. No. You can just have it. You can make a box. And you can just punch. You can punch in holes box. in it. Get you a ring, or just tie it up with like ribbon. Yeah. Do it that way too. Yes, you can. I know I saw that. Oh, maybe it was somewhere else. Oh, you know, you can build your own box to put them in, too. Yes, you can show them how to do that. Get you some uh, cardboard or shoebox and just get you some of those dowel rods and run them through there. Oh, this is the one I was looking for. It was on the back of this one. But look at this now. See, I should have, I can cut this in half like this. She's a Rolodex or index cards. Hmm. Yeah. Same. Well, they, they call them index. I've used both. The index cards, they call them something else. There's another four-letter um, something for the index cards. Because I remember somebody asked me if they if I do these da da da, -da things. I said, never heard of them. I can yeah, is that yeah. it? I can't. Yeah, they're index cards. Yeah, the um index cards are better than the rule index cards because they're bigger and you have more space to decorate on. Mm -hmm. But but you still can, you know, notch them and put them in like on the rule index. Yeah, you'll have to show us one day how to make one of those. See now, this was just a very small this was just one little tiny one all by himself and it says serenity up here because he was kind of by himself now he's got a family oh folks are doing them now janice i can yes i can first when somebody said that to me i didn't have a clue what they was talking about i didn't have a clue a lot of times I don't have a clue what people are talking about. Now, see, if you take one of these little index cards, or whatever you want to call them, you can actually then put, you can actually display, I, um, you can actually it display some, some um, ATCs. And you're only 14 days behind on the iCads. Who is doing the iCads? Whose group, Kathy? I must not. I must not be. I have not been on the computer a whole lot. I my computer stays on all day long, and some people think you're on the computer all the time. How come you don't answer my message? Well, yeah, I'm not on it all day. Today I was in my chair almost all day. I sat at the table for a while, worked on hooking. And um, 
my locker hooking. I'm a pretty good hooker. She's been busy hooking, y'all. I've been, yeah, <laughs> but no, nobody gets me any tips or nothing. And they're nothing. So it's hard out there in them streets. <laughs> Yeah, that's me too, Janice. A lot of times I don't like, I don't want to go into one of these um, projects that goes on and on and on for the year or whatever. But I sure love watching people do it. I love to see what people come up with. And so Yellow Daisy, you think, is the group Yellow Daisy? But see, I can then put these two, well, maybe I won't put them two. Maybe I'll put like this card on this on this um, thing, my jig, jig them a floppy, and um, hi, maybe... Doctor Glenda. Doctor Glenda Baker is here. Oh, there she is. She's all the way from from all the way from up our in um, all the way from up our in Alabama. She said, "You the crafty bomb." Now, see, we can do this like this, like that. Now, where'd that butterfly go? Oh, here. And then I can put this butterfly. <gasps> oh, doggies. Woo, doggy. So I can put, like, this is my card that goes into my Rolodex. See how my mind goes? I was only doing um, ATCs here, and then all of a sudden, something happened. <laughs> so... Okay, so here, here she goes. Let's put some little glue on here. Come on out, glue. Okay, and let me put this one on here like this. Let it flip over the side a little bit. And this one here is going to go here. Darla, Bye, Darla. Darla, Darla, why are you leaving? She's got to go to bed probably because it's oh. 1045. I'm telling you 1045. Well, it's not 1045 everywhere. Yeah. It is here where I need to go to bed soon. You know, You've work. Go to, well, see, you got to go to work tomorrow. Now, I'm like all that re retired and stuff, see? All the time the world. So I can sleep whenever I want to. Yeah, At least I know. She doesn't have to go to sleep either because she's retired right south of me. There, see? Now, this page... That's got the butterflies on it. These scissors are no good for cutting stuff out. There's a bunch of y'all yeah. in, in Florida. Y'all need to get together and have a big powwow. I know. Well, we did have. Some of us did have a powwow down here once. Y'all need had, to do it. Huh? Y'all need to do it. I can't do it anymore. I'm too old. Well, they can come closer to you then. Well, we did have, um, there was like seven of us ladies got together. And um, I don't know if we would be called ladies because we didn't act like ladies. But um, we spent three nights down at Hudson Beach at a, um, at the inn. Inn by the Gulf, I think it's called. Gosh, did we have fun. You wouldn't do it again? Well, I could do it again. But I'd have to carry my diaper bag with me. That's the hard part. But that's all right. Okay. If it was close to home. But see, Papa came to see me every day, too, so I wouldn't get, like, anxiety. He drove down there every day to see me. But now he don't drive anymore. So. And I don't know if I can leave him by himself. There's Barbara Batson. <gasps> Barbara Batson. Barbara, did you find a find where that dog belonged that showed up in your area? That was a cute little dog. And that's the first time I saw a picture of you, Barbara. I didn't know you had purple hair. Yes, now that I know you have purple hair, Barbara, you never told me that you had purple hair. So I see a picture of you with that dog. I think it would be awesome, and I would come to Florida. You'd come? See, I'd come to see you and, and Kathy and Rosita and Johnny and who else lives there? I don't know. 
There's a bunch of people who live there. I know. Well, Kathy lives in Florida, and Rosie lives in Florida. Viv and um, what's her name? Beth Schuler lives in Florida. Brenda. Who? Brenda. Does Brenda too? I'm pretty sure Brenda live. <laughs> Kathy, does Brenda live there in Florida? I think she lives there. I know, I know Erin comes to Florida sometimes, but she don't live there. I live in Georgia, but it's not that far away. Is Tommy up there? Did you see Tommy? I had seen somebody mention Tommy. My daughter up there. What the heck I do with my mouse? I can't scroll up to see. Somebody oh, said they sleep in your yard. Do what? No, nobody claimed it, but it went ahead and found it. A oh, somebody, nobody claimed the dog, but you found it a home. Somebody probably just dumped it. My oh. son left a message. Wait a minute, let me see. Jenna said, Lizzie, Tommy. Oh, said, there is Tommy. You are riding the doctor with her at 9 a.m. Oh, that's right. Yes, I got to do my blood work. Yes, Tommy Sue. That's my daughter. Yes, Tommy Sue. And she's beautiful. And she's going to bring me to the doctor's office in the morning so I can do my little blood work thing. Yep, that's my Tommy Sue. I love her. You know what that girl is doing right now at her house? I'm telling you, she'd make somebody a damn good, I mean, a darn good husband. She has torn up all the floor in her bathroom. And let's do it, Kathy. Putting a whole new floor. That girl. That girl. I'm Look in. This. See, I put two of my cards there. I put the butterfly here, the monarch butterfly. Who? Somebody put up a joke about a monarch butterfly. Oh, I didn't. Oh, and I if should. I go, I can stop by and get Lizzie and drag her up there. Diaper bag and all. <laughs> oh my goodness. We can rent a beautiful B and B in Plant City for eight hundred dollars for four nights that sleeps eleven people. <coughs> wow, really? And um we'll make sure she's right next to the party. Plant City. Huh. Back up. Lorraine Chubb, she used to come to my house, but because she lives in California, in Canada, and um, she still lives in Canada, and she's come to my house many times. Me and her met, we met at a at a restaurant one time, but she used to come to Florida every winter, and they used to be like snowbirds, we call them, snowbirds, that come to Florida to get away from the snow, and, um, and she used to come to my house. Her and her husband, Jim. But now Miss Miss um oh man, that'd be pretty. Um Miss Kathy, put out the feelers and see who you can get. I would be willing to come. See who else you could get to. I think it'd be fun. It would be fun. When we did the one in Hudson in 2020, or maybe it was 2019, I don't remember. It was a long time ago. It was a hurricane anyway. And um, and it was fun. It was fun. We did four nights. Three nights. Three nights. Four days. It was fun. We did it. Well, one girl kind of. Well, from, from um, Alabama was my friend Joy Robinson. She came. She kind of organized the whole thing. And she come all the way from out central Alabama. Are you coming, Ben? Yeah. Mm. Is your boyfriend coming to bed? Yeah, my boyfriend. Well, in your, <laughs> I know you're married to him, but he still got to be your boyfriend. Just because uh, you marry somebody doesn't mean they're not your boyfriend anymore. He's not my boyfriend. <laughs> yes, he is. He's your boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. He's he is. Boyfriend. He is your boyfriend. 
He will forever be your boyfriend. He's the old man. The old man? Mm -hmm. Just like I'm the old broad. You are not an old broad. <laughs> oh. We are going to rent fully stocked cabins in Silver Springs. Each cabin sleeps five, but COVID hit. Oh. What? Silver Springs isn't that far from me. What? What was this? Who's going? Let's do it. I'm down. Somebody die cut this out of. And like I said, I can swing by and pick up Lizzie and take her. You can just swing on by because you're swinging. Just a swinging. She now, won't have to just... worry about anxiety. I got medicine she can take. She'll be all right. Yeah, we'll be close <laughs> enough to Tampa where we can stop by any street corner and get medication. A lot of druggists that just work on the street corners these days. Druggists. Oh my god, that sounds like so much fun. What, standing on the street corner selling drugs? <laughs> no. No, we're Kathy Road. Oh, 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 oh. They are only $50 a night with a wraparound screened in porches and picnic tables on them to craft on and really not. Oh my gosh. Oh That's my like a plan gracious. stand. We need to do it like towards the fall though, when it gets a bit cooler. Yeah, that would be good. Toward the fall, y'all. Toward the fall and then the end of kind of off season so it gets cheaper. See, like here I just put this little die cut at the bottom of this and now I'm stumped on that one so I'll look at a different one. Not Eugenia. Not Eugenia. Himself is probably needing her to come to bed. Hi Joy. Hi Joy Robinson says hi. <gasps> is Joy Robinson in there? Yes Kathy. After hurricane season that sounds like fun. Joy Robinson is the one that got all of us together for our last retreat. Winner. Mm -hmm. She's the one that come all the way from central Alabama. She did. She stopped on the way and got, um, well, it really wasn't on the way. She was out of, out of her way, but she went and got, um, oh gosh, what is her name? And I just talked to her on the phone this morning. Um, um, Oh, you know who I'm talking about, Joy, right? Who did you pick up? Dang it. How come I can't remember? Any? Irma. Irma. Yes, it was Irma. Yes, it was so much fun, Joy. Yep, it was Irma Bombeck. Well, it wasn't actually Bombeck. Her last name is Brewer, although she's no kin to me. She's almost like Irma Bombeck, though. She's what? Oh. Oh, Tommy Sue said hi to Joy. Say hey to the ladies. Hey. You got to say it louder. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> hi, you handsome. How are you? I'm keeping an eye on your wife so she doesn't get into any trouble. You know how she can be. Yes, he knows oh too well. <laughs> but if I keep an eye on her, then she can't get in no trouble. See, you, can just, you can just go through your cards and just, just start them. You can just start like a whole bunch of them. And um, then they're started, see? And then, and then you can um, finish them later on. Or whatever. Look how pretty. I love these little penguins. All right, Miss Lizzie. I gotta go because we need to go to bed. I know. You sleep. gotta get a, you know, you should take an early retirement. I'm down. <laughs> yeah, an early retirement so you don't have to work. You don't have to go to bed early. 
thanks for coming on with me for a little bit. That was fun. All right. Well, don't forget to send me the link tomorrow afternoon and remind me so I'm not running yep. around at the last minute with my head like a chicken with my head cut off. You don't want to be a chicken with your head cut off. No. No. If you're going to be a chicken, keep your head attached. <laughs> now, there's not another retreat yet, um, Joy, but Kathy... Kathy is talking about maybe we should get together and do another retreat. Do it. Do it. Run and, with it, boy. Um, Run with it. And which she was talking about someplace in Ocala, which would be a little bit closer for you than coming all the way down to Hudson. And it's not too, too far from me. And Joy so I then. could actually get one of my daughters to bring me and dump me off with my diaper bag. Joy said she's in. But we wouldn't bring as much. We brought so much. Every one of us, each one of us brought so much crafting supplies to this last one. And so when, you know, and we were there three nights, I think. But the ladies, the people, the ladies that come to clean your room you know they come daily to clean your room and they kind of open the door and they just kind of looked because we brought our tables and everything and i mean it was like nice a two room it was like a bedroom and then a, like a little efficiency and then poor ladies couldn't even get in there they said well um maybe we can leave you some clean towels and we said yeah that would be good yeah the room was so full of our stuff but we had so much fun Gosh, we had fun. That was fun. <laughs> All right. Night, ladies. I'll talk to you night. tomorrow. Night. Love you bunches, Ray. Love you. Bye. I prop, it's 11 o'clock here, too. So since I got to get up with my daughter in the morning and go get my little blood test, they got to make sure I'm still alive and stuff, you know. Make and good. So I'm going to just leave my stuff right here so I can, because I'm going to go ahead, too, because it's 9 30, 10 I've been on how long? One hour and 32 minutes and 18 seconds. So I'm going to, my beautiful ladies. Well, I'm going to be on Love Life tomorrow night, but only to sell stuff. So don't come. Don't come unless you got money. Just kidding. You can come just. <laughs> I'm going to, oh, not going to have a, a lot of stuff. But look at this. Now I, I like to open a book and just see what it what comes, what is here when I open. I'm going to leave all my stuff on my desk like this because I think if I don't go right to sleep, I can get up and work on it a little bit or I can um, work on it tomorrow after I get back. Okay, I'm going to read a, um, a little something. It says, since I found you. So I'm reading this to each and every one of you. I never knew such joy and peace, dear God, till I found you. And now I have enough of both to last my whole life through. As long as, long as I'm in touch with you throughout each passing day, if I become confused or lost, you help me find my way. And when sadness fills my heart, as happens now and then, you're always there to lean on and renew my faith again. I wish everyone could have the peace I, of mind I do and the joy of love, dear God. I've had since I found you. And that was written by Doris A. Orr. And I want to tell you ladies right now that when I first turned this on this evening, good night, Lorraine. When I first turned this on this evening, I was kind of in that little black hole that I can't describe. And it just were like, uh, I don't want nothing don't talk to me don't look at me just leave me alone i'm fine and soon as you all started popping in here and then ray come on it's like everything changed and right now i feel i feel so good right now and so it's you know like they say the lord works in mysterious ways oh there's old larry turner <laughs> hi larry and and hello, Tracy. 
Yes, it's four o'clock. Four o'clock is when I'm coming on tomorrow evening with my little sale, which is not going to be anything fancy or nothing. You know, it's just a de stash. So it's like de stashing some of my mountains of things and a lot of these greeting cards. And I think I'm going to have, a, I'm going to make an assortment of greeting cards and envelopes, probably like 25 in a package. And I'm going to have them for like $3. So that's kind of, sort of what I have and I'm going to probably do some of my six dollar build a bundles too and so but for now I know I didn't get too much done but you can see you just can work on them as you go you don't have to finish a whole card I mean you can take a greeting card and cut it into all these pieces and then all your little pieces of whatever you might have and put them together and you have a ATC and um and I love and there's together. See, I love putting a word on them. I just love words. And so I'll have I'm gonna print some more of these words out too, so that I can add them to the builder bundles. And um because it's always fun to have a word. I just love words or quotes and things on my things. And so all right, good night all and thank every one of you tomorrow and Four o'clock Eastern, that's when I'm going to go. And so, and, I, and me and Ray, Ray will be selling a little bit first. And then when she's done, then I'm going to go on hers. And so, and thank you. Oh, good to see. So all of you, Ray, Riri and Janet and Sarah, all of you. Oh my gosh, so wonderful. Golden Horde on Pegasus and I'll have a unicorn. That's right. I'll have a unicorn Pegasus unicorn. And I can't put a gold. All I have to do is just use some little stickles and put it on there. But isn't that beautiful with that rainbow? So thank you again for that happy mail, Janice Glines. Thank you so much. And I'm sorry I lost it. <laughs> oh, but it was like, oh, happy I found it again. A gift that keeps on giving. So I ask God to watch over each and every one of you, every step you take, every move you make, and bring you back safe and sound and happy and healthy to the next video. God bless you all.